here in the desert, I will train to become stronger. Time to check my scroll again. Let me see here. A true ninja must discipline his mind to control his thoughts. Easy. I'll start by controlling my thought waves of that phony rival genie, Holly What's Her Face. Every time I think of her, she comes back to life. I must never let it happen again. Oh, I'm back! Someone remembered me? Not me. I'm a ninja. My mind is always disciplined. Oh, golly. Then you must have the master the engine. <laughs> oh, golly. Then you must have mastered the ninja arts like I did. Stealth, speed, strength. Each one was simpler than the last. In fact, I became a ninja master in no time flat. What? It's true. There's nothing in this world easier than becoming a ninja master. And displaying my mind was the easiest lesson of them all. <laughs> it's easy as licking the frosting off a baby's first birthday cake when the baby remains unaware. Which I've done. As a ninja. Bye now. <laughs> oh, she gets me so steamed. I'll never forget this. I'll show her how good my mental discipline is. Even if I have to chase her all over this lousy desert. You'll never forget this. The whole point was to train your mental ability to not actually think about her. Oops. Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae Half Genie Hero Ninja Mode. On the last episode, we did the Mermaid Lake area, and uh, we trained to become one with nature. And uh, I, I guess, I guess, I guess we did that in a way, because now we're in a desert. So I mean, how much more one with nature can you get than being in a desert? And uh, without saying too much, there's actually a really cool uh, way that this, uh, this it's this this mode ends in a pretty peculiar and kind of hilarious fashion. So, with how Holly just said what she said, uh, keep that in mind for the ending, because that will make the ending even ten times funnier, in my opinion. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. For now, we must stable our mind. We must become one with the elements, and stay close to palm trees, apparently, in order to master our ninja, our ninja techniques, such as not having to fight if there's no need to. Using commoners' clothes to blend in with the society and the surroundings, so it may assassinate our foes. Or, I don't know, whatever you saw in Naruto the other day. <laughs> How did that become such a big thing in American culture is what I want to know. Like, why did ninjas become so popular? It, I think it started in the late 80s it became really popular. Was that kind of with the rise in anime starting to show up in the West? That's actually, like, I'm legit curious. I could probably go look that up too, but what I find for sources could conflict, so... If you know a way of, like, how ninja culture became so fascinating in the West, uh, let me know. I, I'm really cool. I'd be really curious to hear it. But for now, we're just gonna take care of these annoying warm dudes. And these annoying cactus dudes. I could probably just teleport past all of them, but where's the fun in that? Oh yeah, last dream squid. <gasps> the dream squids in this area are really easy to find, so no biggies there. As always, though, we gotta deal with this section. Hello, Wilbur. Luckily for Ninja Shantae, this is actually a, this is actually kind of a fun section to do with Ninja Shantae, because you can really just uh, play around it for different abilities, and since she has a faster running speed than the other characters, it does make it kind of more unique in a way. I don't know why they always put a Dream Squid in this like that one exact spot. It's like there for every single mode. It's weird. All right, so let's get that down. I feel like okay, no, I'm, I'm mixing up with another mode. Thought there's something up there. Okay, well, you know what? We don't we don't need that block. As I say, jump into the spikes. <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. I wish you could skip this cutscene at the very least. Oh well. That's your price for screwing up. And that's okay. Hi there. Oh, you don't die to three hits. You die like five hits. I, I see how it is. Alright, well, I don't need to go up there again, so... 
I like that they got Christina Vina, uh, Chris, Christina Vina, who the heck is that? I like that they got Christina V back to do some more, uh, recordings for the different costumes, so there's, there's some really cute dialogue that she has for all of them. Uh, uh. Just be safe. Heart? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Ninja Vanish. Boop, boop, boop. No, well, that's my bad. That's also my bad, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Wait, wait for those guys to be done. I think, yeah, Dream Squid over here. <laughs> you just zip around here like, like ridiculous. Just so ridiculous. It's so much fun. So yeah, as much as I usually dread this section, this is probably the most fun you can have with it, is in Ninja Mode. Because it is just a matter of... You, I mean, knowing the layout of it helps too, so that probably is part of it, but... Having a mastery of all your techniques and everything, just like, whoop. Nope, don't need to deal with you. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, let's get up. Let's let's go straight up first, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna guess over here. Nope, okay. I guessed wrong. Let's just get some gems on. Whoop. 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 <laughs> Whoop. Alright. Ninja vanish. Ow, that's fine. <laughs> Vanish, boom, boom, done. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Yeah, that section is actually a lot of fun with the Ninja Shantae. And actually, this section is actually, I believe, the hardest of her because it wants you to do some. Well, I mean, if you want to be crazy, you can just do things all over the place, but if you're not careful with your spacing, then you're going to end up in a bottomless pit. <laughs> but that is like, it's becoming one with the elements of the sky. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to sound cool. So, like, here, we have to Ninja Vanish over here. And be, care be careful to Ninja Vanish. It it can be easy to accidentally go at an angle, which is not something you want to do. You want to try to have it go straight across if you can, because that'll give you more distance, and uh, it won't also cause you to bump into a ceiling. This section is pretty lenient on it, but later sections, they'll want you to be very specific with that Ninja Vanish. And while having a D-pad is nice, the problem is that if you're playing, just like, -ba 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 the... Because that that's a word, <laughs> if, you're, if you're playing at a rapid pace, because that's, kind of that's kind of the enjoyment of this mode, is trying to play it really rapidly, you'll oftentimes rock the D-pad in a way that it becomes an angle, rather than just a straight directional. And you really want those straight directionals, not the angles. That's fine. And also, watch your health. I think I think this mode, I'm more prone to... Outside of beach mode. I'm more prone to die in this mode just because I'll be like, boop, 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 I can do all this crazy stuff, and it's like, oh, right, I have health. <laughs> I should probably watch that. <laughs> oh, man. It's fine. It's fine. We're in the third section already. I feel bad because I recorded the beach episodes before this, and, uh... Yeah, that didn't go so swimmingly with Beach Mode. <laughs> this entire section. Ninja Mode is just like, boom. Just boom, done. Boom, done. I love the Ninja Vanish. It's so cool. Uh, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> Tried to save it. Tried to save it. Did not do it as best as I thought I could. Okay, there we go. There. Ow. Don't do that. Stop that. Okay, I, th that's my fault for running right into you. <laughs> uh, I don't want to touch those bombs. Okay, now, now we're going to play a little more safe, now that we have uh, low health. Or do that. That's fine. Okay, cool. You know what? There you go. There you go. I died as ninja, proving once and for all that maybe it's not so much the mode, it's more of just how cocky I am or how overcautious I am. One of the two. Alright, let's get this another whirl. Let's see, like, it's just like, when you know you can do that, you can just skip over entire giant sections like that, you're just like, well, why wouldn't I? And then you just get cocky about it, because you're like, oh, this is safe. It was safe in those first earlier areas. It's clearly safe now. It's not safe now. Of 
Sorry. <laughs> I forget how cool this uh, music track is as well. It is nice to revisit a lot of these areas and like, oh yeah, this music track's really dang good. Like, this entire soundtrack is phenomenal. Go pick it up on Bandcamp, it's in the description below. <laughs> And Jake Kaufman is just a one of the most awesome of recent composers, I would say. Oh, saved it. Okay, well, that's just my fault for sitting there like a dumb butt. Yeah, because... Whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, he's been active since... Before 2002, at least, which is when the first Shantae game came out. But I feel like a lot of his recent stride has happened recently, hence why it's recent stride. Good job me explaining things, but he's done some fantastic works in other games as well. You can go see his entire repertoire of video game soundtracks on his uh, band camp, as well as other things that he's contributed to. And I think most, like, most impressively to me is that he's the main composer, and he and his team at Mint Potion are the main composers for uh, OKKO, OK Let's Be Heroes, and I'm just like, that's so cool! Because OKKO, OK if you've never seen the cartoon, it is kind of like, it's like a mix between, if, if you really liked, like, old shonen anime, video games, uh, superheroes, like, tr 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 the traditional DC Marvel ones, it's like a, it's a big hybrid of all that, and because of how it kind of plays with it, a lot of the game elements to it, too, it's just like, oh, that's perfect, why wouldn't you have, a video, like, a really cool video game composer compose the music for your show? Just like it's a freaking it's it's a gosh darn blessing in all honesty. All right, so let's get to the end of the section. We'll probably call it an episode. Oh ho ho! Actually, no, no, we have enough time. We can go fight the boss. Let's do it. Oh, you found me. That's right, and I'm going to show you what a disciplined mind really looks like. Oh, if you discipline so much, why don't you just say so? Will there? Here he comes. Wilder here can dish out all the discipline you can handle. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can make this the fastest Wilbur fight in existence. So. He has a few moves changed up because they want you to use the Ninja Vanish, but other than that, this should be pretty much a cakewalk, especially if you have max magic, since uh, I don't use the throwing stars that often, as much as I probably should be using them. Boom. Now, let's see. Is it possible to one-cycle Wilbur? I don't think so, but it would be hilarious. Go and throw, 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 throw. Okay. I don't think it's possible to one like Wilbur. That would be hilarious, though. Never know. Maybe some, maybe some speedrunners figure it out. That would be really cool. Th this seems like... I wonder what the record times are for this game for speedrunning. Like, I can imagine it being like somewhere below 30, if not lower than 20 even. Okay, dang it. We'll see, we can two cycle him. I'll take a two cycle. Go. Throw. 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 Mental stability. This is how I get mental stability. I just throw throwing stars at a large pulsating eyeball. I don't actually think that's how it works, but we'll just say it does. Ninja Vanish. <laughs> uh, it's so fun to use these moves. I do miss the transformations. It'd be cool to, like, have an all-encompassing mode where she just has everything. Like, transformations, officer, uh, the sunscreen, too, I guess, to make it a little difficult so it's not completely broken. And Ninja Vanish. No, dang it. I was holding for two-cycle. No two-cycle. Oh, well. You can just, like, boom. Boom. I will sushi strike you! That is actually a really good game. You should pick it up on the 3DS. Just saying. 
It probably got very overlooked this year, like most things Nintendo releases in the month of June. So, go, go play it. Preferably the 3DS version, because that one actually plays better than the Switch one, in my opinion. But, tomato, tomato at that point. But also, play Shantae. Play both! Unless you have a limited budget, in which case, play Shantae first. I beat your worm. Now, feel the wrath of the ninja. I don't think so. You see, I discovered the secret to immortality. As long as I'm in your thoughts, I'll live forever. Hold it. I dropped my scroll. Here it is. What were you saying? I said, as long as I'm in your thoughts, I'll... Wait, that's not it. <gasps> Did I lose it? I swear it was here a second ago. Now, don't get distracted! I had it when I ran to that cactus. Oh, man, it's all a blur. Think about me, not your dumb scroll! Brain reset. Well, she did actually master it. The idea of resetting your mind. It was in my pocket the whole time. Hey, where'd she go? Oh well, at least I've learned to discipline my mind. And I'm one step closer to becoming a true ninja master. Sure. That's how it works, I guess. Shh, shh, shh. Takes a little while to vanish when she's doing those platforms, though, so maybe not, maybe not the most efficient. <laughs> Alright then, if you like this episode, please consider hitting that like button below. If you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Shantae Hatching Heroes Hero is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Steam PC, and Nintendo Switch. And that's how we are ninja vanishing through this game. I feel like I'm doing a lot of Shatner impressions without actually wanting to. Sorry about that. <laughs> You can get either the original version of Shantae Hatching Hero and get the costume packs later as DLC, or you can pick up the Ultimate Edition so you have everything right out of the gate so you are ready to go. Otherwise, please have a wonderfully great day. Until the next one, did you finish? Also, ciao.